We can all do it. <laughs> On my coffee table. Go, Bella. Plug your nose. That was perfect. <laughs> <laughs>up everybody it's certainly tones back at it again back at it again holy shit this is a long time <laughs> you okay you didn't even eat your burger i know i'm so ready random <laughs> oh, <laughs> holy shit Fuck. hell yeah finally damn it oh my god okay that's where i like to be <laughs> this oh, is the shit. first time going last i don't like it this is our day before prom guys Oh god. No, Holy tomorrow's shit. the day before prom. No, it's the evening before prom. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Um I haven't bought anything, but prom is about to happen. Wait, you can get one free thing. Yeah, but, but she's that's also my turn. not here yet. True. She's not here. Oh she's not oh, here. She's not here. I'm I've wanted to go to the gym this whole time. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Ooh. Holy shit. Is that Murdoch? That day. <laughs> <laughs> I'm part of the gang, green gang. <laughs> or ace. You can pick one. Many people fall ace. during the battle. You can't ace. take any more, so you valiantly go straight to the other team's leader and start negotiating if for it's the truth. Polly. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Polly. <laughs> After hours of intense diplomacy, you commit to an agreement. What an unexpected twist. You gain plus test 10 righteousness. Whoa. But this game is so wrong in so many ways that you would be lucky if you could do anything with that. And plus two charm. Suddenly you see Polly vomit ectoplasm all over her cell phone. You rush to help her. I don't want to help her! <laughs> ah! I just got my 97th hey as an opening line on Tinder. I just had to puke out of pure boredom. Hey! Hey! What am I supposed to do with hey? Whatever happened to reaching out to someone with a fierce dick pic? People are just copy pasting hey and sending it to every monster that looks halfway interesting. If I go with her, it's out of pity, so no. What about you? Are you a hey person too? I hope not. If you read the Tinder profile of fun loving spectral delights such as myself, what would you do? Oh, not. Um, mm. <laughs> <laughs> do it. Do, go for the really cheesy shit. She yeah. won't like you. I feel like she won't like the top one. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. You would say I'm boot evil? You don't just go around joking about a ghost's death the very first time you make contact. You do know I died in a tragic booting accident, right? Oh my god, right? Polly, shut up! She keeps changing it. I know. And the worst part is, they weren't even on sale. I would sale. like her, but I don't. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. It was not a sexy death. And bringing it up does not make me want to have sex with you. I don't you. want to have sex with you, Polly. Don't even think about hitting me up on Tinder with a weak line like that. It's worse than hey. The second I see a username with Zope in it, I'm hitting block. I don't even care how many innocent Zopes it may weed out. It's not worth risking having someone trying to make puns off my tragic boot-related demise. Did she get hit by Buzz? Oh man, in your defense, beautiful. Wait. Uh... Fuck. Damn it. In her defense. This I is can't your do the voice. voice. Oh man, in her defense, Bootiful was still kind of a pun about the fact that she's dead, but she's not even mad about that right pun. About the right pun. Alright, whatever. You'll have to think of some way to make it up to her, preferably without I inadvertent don't footwear. Want puns. to make it up to her. There you go. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> what was it me? Yes. Oh. That's actually a good mouse pad. I need to get lynching. I haven't gone to the gym. You can't. I haven't gone to the library. You have. You haven't gone to, No, you went outdoors. He didn't go to the library. Oh, he went right. to the auditorium, auditorium and the classroom the class. and outdoors. Go to the bathroom. Bathroom? Back there. There's a little building in the back. Bathroom. Uh, they used to get class. Continue to spend the term in the bathroom. Under three wild hyenas, <gasps> like in the what? Lion King. <laughs> Who the fuck runs security around here? They make you subdue blah, 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 monster scouts and snares for pet. By the way, you get into the bathroom to me while this cool. <gasps>
Okay, that's not true. Mm. Very scary. Holy shit. Holy shit. Okay. <laughs> but what the fuck are these other guys? Oh, here? damn. Oh, because he has the portal. Ah, oh, that's true. The, the season finale of the interdimensional. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Pauline. <laughs> yes. Oh wait, I'm sorry. I, a little you have push. to pick one. Whoever gets the most points because. Oh wait, who's his? That will be his voice. Hmm. <laughs> yes, yeah, indeed. Tonight, you three will answer a series of trivial. <laughs> I mean, trivia questions. Whoever gets the most points becomes my. My what? What did they become? Let's you got it. Oh, I didn't know you clicked it. I'm gonna win. I don't even care what the prize is. Your, your, your what? Wife, your wife? What a revolting premise. <laughs> <coughs> so you're saying we're supposed to? Oh wait, I'm now a nerdy cowboy. <laughs> <laughs> Supposed to respond to a series of questions and scenarios, our answers to which will make us more or less likely to achieve a romantic outcome with you. That's extremely problematic. I can't think of anyone who would ever want to play such a tawdry dating game. That's so meta. Everybody, stop raising reasonable concerns so I can hear the first question. That's the spirit. Question number one. Describe your ideal, eh, ideal marriage proposal. But before Polly can answer, you buzz in yourself. Now's your chance to give an answer that will end the competition and send the prince packing. Oh, <laughs> fuck! Pour out! <laughs> I present you with my grandmother's wedding ring, still attached to my naked grandmother. Well! <laughs> you want him to draw on Alicia's beads. Wait, wait. You fool! Your child is pranked because... Wait, just destabilize the fabric of this pocket dimension. It's coming apart around us. Ah, help! My shoes are turning into lizards! I like those shoes! What's this? All the oh. money in my wall has turned into moths. You'll pay- oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> no part of me is, is turning into an animal, but I suddenly care about things. This is all your fault. Why didn't you just answer with words? Why did it have to be bees? But you can't take back the past. You spend the next thousand years traversing various <laughs> horrifying dimensions with the prince and your three pissed off friends. So you missed prom. No time has passed when you return home, but you'll never forget. And Lima, Vera, and Polly will never forgive. Lima. You lose minus two fun and minus one charm. I'm stupid. <laughs> I'm never gonna find love. <laughs> or a prom date. Zaret! So many options. I'm just gonna Give me finish your box. I'm just, no, I'm finishing my munchie oh, I meal. you were done. No. <laughs> you guys are just trying to shoulder. You just use me. Yeah. <laughs> I wanna go outdoors if I can get to it. The mouse doesn't work very well on this side of the couch. Well, Damn! Maybe. That day during recess, you start a half-hour rave that goes full crazy. You spot Juan, the small magic Latino cat, who seems a bit sad. Racist. He explains to you that he's worried people are so used to calling him Juan, the small magical Latino cat, that now everyone defines him by only his size, magicality, ethnicity, and species. He's more than that. You correct him. You don't see him in such simplistic terms mean. and convenient <laughs> definitions. It's just that there are around 23 other different Juans in the school. So adding all that to his name is quite necessary. I feel like... You tell him never forget about him and the crazy adventures you both lived together in Monster Prom sequel. Prequel. Monster Middle School. <laughs> you have a great time remembering those crazy stories. You gain plus two fun. Afterwards, Liam walks up to you extremely nonchalantly. It's ridiculous how little he cares about this walk. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> Give me oh. a shot. I got munchie meal in my mouth. <laughs> After considerate thought, I come to the conclusion that you're not a complete poser. And seeing I could use a partner for my tragically hip late night excursions, consider yourself invited. Invited, invited. <laughs> Tonight, 3 a.m., I'm sure you'll have no trouble coming 
coming off as an appropriate underground destination. You're gonna get laid. I mean, it's not like I don't know any cool places to go to or anything. I just want to give you an opportunity. He's blushing. An opportunity yeah, to prove yourself. Oh yes. Liam vanishes in a cloud of mist and angst. You've got 12 hours to choose the trendiest spot nobody's ever heard of. Oh, shoot. Oh, God. Damn. Ooh, that's tough. Nightclub money? Is that the money symbol? What is that? It's, a, it's, it's an, an asterisk. 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 Also known as the butthole emoji. It is. Oh, shoot. He's hip and trendy. But he's this is hipster. the fun spot. So where though. would a hipster go? The most underground nightclub. That's true. That's what I was leaning towards. So bald. That night you pick Liam up in your giant mechanized drill machine and head for the club. Luckily for both of you, you hit the land of the mole men before you get anywhere near the core. The core is actually just impossibly hot metal. Why you thought there was a nightclub <laughs> there is total mystery. The mole men, on the other hand, really know how to party. They've got spicy gin, rough jazz, and about a million captive techno spiders. You wake up next to Liam a week later atop an active volcano. Nice. A week later, that was a night? That was quite a night. Do you remember something about pledging our allegiance to the campaign to a campaign uh, to <laughs> <laughs> Do a campaign to exterminate all surface dwellers? Eh. That was probably just a weird dream I had. Let's not read any- let's not read anything into it. You don't even remember what happened to your drill machine, let alone how you got all these vintage thermometers. That's how you know it was a good party. You gained plus two fun and plus one boldness. Good time! For our next party, we should give away vintage thermometers. thermometers. <laughs> okay. Where did I go outdoors? Uh, library. You could use money. I could use money. What's in the auditorium is smarts. The library's money. No, wait. That's smarts. The classroom. What are you looking for? I mean, I have enough creativity. I need boldness. You can't get boldness. I guess I can. Oh, use the money. bathroom. Mm-hmm. Super Benito. What? That's right. You did the start kicker because you took my investment. Why is my name up there? Yeah. My um, name's nowhere on. S this is your Steam. It's just a coincidence, it's I guess. Just coincidence. I don't think so. <laughs> I think so. Benito Bros has a ring to it. It does. No. Super Benito Bros. Super Benitones. <laughs> Maybe it's because it's your computer? Maybe it's because it's Halloween times? Okay, anyway. You back in it or what? That day you spend your some time on the library's PCs managing your start kicker. You decide lots of people with a sensationalist video and impossible promise. Nice. You gain plus that many money. But almost everything goes to cover costs and you keep only plus two money. It's later when you're minding your own business and definitely not doodling pictures of Damien in your notebook when you see Damien making his way over to you, at which point you definitely do not need to hide your drawings. Yo, so here's the thing. You know how I think most people are pretty much 100% awful fuck doors? I actually Damien. think you're only 70% awful fuck doors tops. He's gonna bone you. In fact, I actually think you're kind of rad. It would have been perfect, Damien. I've been meaning to get a new tattoo since nothing as rad as intentionally sticking needles into yourself. To create a permanent image on your skin for fucking ever. And I thought maybe we could get matching tattoos if you can come up with something rad for us. I'm gum 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 gum. It's your chance once and for all so to convince me, Damien of how awesome you are. Don't fuck this up. It's time to suggest the baddest, <laughs> raddest, maddest tattoo of all time, which is... Fuck. A sea cucumber. <laughs> a fire made out of pentagons. And those pentagons are made out of... Guns that shoot pentagrams, and the pentagrams are on fire, and the fire is on fire. Guys, help, I'm drunk. Damn. Cool. I yeah. thought so. I knew it was a trap. Utterly expressionist, then he slowly leaves up the shirt. He's already got one. Fuck. <laughs> He's already got it. Damn it. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. He lowers his shirt. 
Have you been spying on me when I'm naked? Oh, wait. I thought you were awesome. I thought we could be linked together forever with rad matching tattoos. No one told me you were a creepy voyeur who spies on naked people. That's right, everybody. Oz is a creepy voyeur who spies on naked people. Go get your own tattoo. Like, creepy voyeur on your forehead. Yowch. What were the odds that that would be Damien's exact tattoo? You lose minus three charm. Thank <music> you.